It's been a new blow to the Blues forward pack. A distraught Jordan McLean robbed of an origin debut by a hamstring injury. There are two men fighting to replace him. One, another rookie. The other, a New South Wales veteran. Jordan McLean deep in thought at a Blues breathing session, contemplating an origin career that was a lifetime in the making, but was suffocated by a hamstring injury before it could start. The Blues had concerns about the surface they were training on and wanted to shift grounds today. Whatever the cause, McLean was a shattered man. Jordan, um, obviously some upsetting news. Yeah, well, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, it's pretty disappointing. It's obviously hit you hard, yeah? Yeah. The blue birth meant the world to him. My career's been, you know, full of ups and downs, and you know, I've kind of been used to it, but I thought it might be, you know, a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. McLean showed considerable courage to front the media an hour after the injury occurred. I still haven't talked to the family yet, so that's going to be the hardest thing is tell them... <clears throat> Tell my young fellas that won't be playing this week. The coach and his staff were calm about what they were facing. Nico Hines was ruled out with COVID yesterday. His replacement, Chad Townsend, flew into camp last night but has gastro and was isolated. How are you feeling, mate? It hasn't been smooth. No, it's OK, it's OK. Uh, it's been like this before, so Origin's always, you know, a little bit edgy, but I think that's what uh, makes it so great. Jacob Saifiti is being flown back into camp from Newcastle tomorrow. He's set to debut, and Fittler is giving strong consideration to bringing Dale Finucane into the squad if he gets through tonight's game. And Dale Finucane, would he be someone you'd consider? Yeah, well, he was the first name thrown up, and players mentioned Dale. He's a warrior, though, isn't he? He'd play every day of the week if he could. Yeah, he just he sets an example when he eats breakfast. <laughs> In Kingscliff, Danny Widler, Nine News. Well, Blues legend Andrew Johns is with me now. Heart-wrenching stuff there from Jordan McLean. It's hard to watch. The, the silver lining, though, Andrew, is someone gets their chance. Jacob Saifidi, you know all too well uh, at the Knights and wants to join the likes of his brother who's been there and done that before. For I New just South spoke Wales. to him just before. He was over the moon, as you can imagine. Already pretty nervous. But, uh, yeah, it's great for him, but great for the family. As you said, the twin brothers played the last couple of years, Daniel. But uh, he's had a real good off-season, Jacob. Really worked hard, and this is the reward. Gets to play Origin in a decider at Suncorp. What a place to make your debut. As we heard there, Dale Finucan, uh, after this match, set to head into the Blues camp. He plays in a shark side tonight. It's against his old Storm team. But Matt Moreland, from a Cronulla perspective, yeah. uh, with no Nico Hines due to COVID, gets a chance to, to really show his wares. Well, it's time for him to really stand up and, and own the game and own the team. No Nico there, as you said. So, look, his body's really going going well this year. Matt Moylan's let him down the last few years with hamstring problems. But I think he's in career best form and I expect him to really stand up tonight. I think he'll have a big game. Sharky's. Sharky's just. OK, there you yep. heard from Andrew. Thank you, mate. To see you sideline, Andrew Johns. Join us here at Shark Park, where tonight former Prime Minister Scott Morrison will be watching his team closely. But could he become more than just a league fan? Denny Widler has this breaking news. Denny, what job is Scott Morrison after? Well, James, in the lead-up to Origin 1, Scott Morrison was speaking to some power brokers in rugby league and he made it quite clear to them that he would like to be part of the Australian Rugby League Commission. Now, he won't be able to do that straight away because there are no vacancies, but this is something that could happen in the future. I spoke to Peter Volandis, the chairman today, and asked him about it, and he said he has not had a direct approach from Scott Morrison at this point, but, James, it's going to be a case of watch this space. Indeed. He'll be here tonight too. Thank you, Denny. Denny Wilder there with the latest. Jason Dimitriou says Latrell Mitchell's decision to rule himself out of Origin 3 was a major factor in the fullback being named Rabideau's captain in the absence of Cameron Murray. Do it his maturity. Um, he made a pretty big sacrifice to lead the team and um, you know, it's part of his journey as a leader and I think it's a good opportunity for him to step up this week. Despite carrying a quad injury, Alex Johnston is likely to play against Newcastle tomorrow.